Okay, hello all the crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite. Welcome back to the wonderful, wonderful aesthetic that is Alchemoth and Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition of Futures Connected. Um, let's see. Last time I, uh, I actually entered Alchemoth instead of just hanging around by the entrance and picking up a quest from a Nopon. And today we're going to be wandering around the city a little bit. Uh, probably moving up over in that general direction, in the general direction of the main story, but, uh, more importantly I'm just going to, uh, oh... Oh, I thought that was a dead body, but no, that's just a piece of glass. Um, more importantly, we are going to be wandering around down on the bottom and just seeing if there's any uh, interesting ruined architecture or um, any... Uh, is that another escalator that used to go up there? I think so. Yeah. Not anymore. Again, interesting ruined architecture or uh, environmental storytelling, perhaps, or... Uh, Maybe more more concretely items that I uh, that I could use for various things, such as filling in the collectopedia. That's really the main thing that you use items for in this game, honestly. Um, let's see, but yeah, uh, ruined uh, ruined staircases, Eternity Way colon ruined. I mean, uh, parentheses ruined. That one did not give me experience for discovering. I don't think, um, unless I uh, discovered it in the last video and didn't notice. I uh, I am seeing a lack of like like, human-related related things, like a lack of, I guess, Hyantia-related things. Um, no dead bodies, which I guess some people may, may be fine with, but also, like, no, like, aside from the, the structure, the structural stuff of, of the city, I'm not seeing any, like, um, like, everyday, everyday objects just scattered around. It's mostly, like, glass in the, in the ceiling and the, um, ruined bits of staircase and that sort of thing, which is fine, it's it's cool, it's an aesthetic, but um, I was just curious if it was gonna, if the game was gonna start to show me anything, anything like that, and I guess the, uh, the answer is no. So, let's see, if nothing else, there is most likely going to be a, uh, another landmark on the other side, because I'm pretty sure there's one of these, like, fancy fountain things on the other side, too, of the city. Uh, the Fountain of Eternity and the Fountain of, like, something else, probably. Um, so, let me just, uh... Man, Melia, can you, can you, like, sprint? There is no sprint button in this game, is there? Yeah, that's, uh, X doesn't sprint, B is jump, um, A is the interact button, it doesn't do anything when there's no one in front of you, and Y is the map. And I don't think, uh... L or R. Those are those are camera controls. There's there's an auto run button, which is like up on the D-pad, but there's no there's no sprint. And I guess if I get tired of like punishing my my uh, left analog stick, I can do auto run. But never mind. Okay, where am I? Did I run past the escalator? Or I did run past the escalator. I just, uh, spent a lot of time pondering the controls in this game. Uh, over here... The Fountain of Hope. Okay, that's the other one. Uh, for some reason, I specifically remember... Okay, so you've still got a couple, like, benches, benches sitting out there. Uh, for some reason, I specifically remember there were a lot of, like, high NTF fetch quests around this part of the city in the base game, in the main game. Uh, Hope Way, colon, ruined. I did it again! Uh, parentheses ruined. Um, as if we, as if we, like, needed to be reminded that by the game. This looks like a door that I should be able to go through. But I'm pretty sure you couldn't in the, uh, in the main game, and I somehow doubt that I can now. It does look like a door, though. A very big door. But yeah, I, uh, I specifically remember, for whatever reason, uh, a lot of, like, high entia that wanted me to do fetch quests hanging out around this part of the city. Um during normal times. But anyway, they're all gone now. There's, uh, there's some, some bird people, uh, statues that are, that are kind of, like, still standing. Um, at least, like, still standing, like, if you, if you really stretch your definition of standing. Anyway. Was there one of those on the other side? There probably was, because this, uh, the city is more or less symmetric. Alright, so that's all done. Um, there wasn't, there wasn't, like, a ton of stuff on the bottom down here. I don't know why I made it sound like I was expecting to find a ton of stuff on the bottom down here. But, we're gonna climb the escalator with grass growing through it. As all escalators will, eventually. 
And uh, I guess we can uh, we can find a uh, we can see a bit of a better look. Melfica Road. We can get a bit of a better look at this uh, this hole in the space time continuum up here. There's also a birdo guarding it. Why is there a birdo guarding it? All right, the kid's gonna get out of here, which is probably for the best, and I'm I'm sure that we are gonna fight level 66 Snowwall House, and this is probably not going to take very long at all, since uh, I mean level 66. I could have done this a while ago, and I didn't because there are more important matters to attend to, like getting into things that I shouldn't be getting into. So let me just uh, let me just dispel all these elementals as fast as possible and see how much damage I can do, do to you as fast as possible. Would be cool to be able to use another one of those uh, those unity moves, but um, don't think I'm going to be able to fill up the uh, the party gauge before where this thing just falls over and dies. Yeah, that was uh, that was what about 15 seconds worth of battle. Ow, that that looked like it hurt. We can only hope. Look! The rift! It's... That beam! What about it, Shulk? That was the same attack that brought down the junks. Then that would mean... It looks like we found our Fog King. Yes, I would have to agree. What now, Shulk? We might as well try. Nay, nay. Understand. It won't work. You can't even land a scratch on it. Stop. My Melia! Kino! Leave to me! Ye faithful of pain! Be gone! Just as Max has said then. Melia, let's pull back. That would seem wise. Okay, this should be far enough. Those things can't follow us all the way out here. Oh? And you're certain of that? Yeah, sure. The Telethia will keep us safe. The Telethia will? Well, that's what Radsum said. 
Though, I don't think they realize it themselves. Ah. Right. Your mother was one of the affected. Yeah. Oh, I haven't thanked you yet. Thanks a million for saving me back there. Why were you alone in such a place? You could have been hurt. Uh, sorry, miss. He get told. Pipe down, not on obvious. I snuck in to gather research material. But then I tripped over some rubble and, uh... And that's when you were spotted, huh? Were you the one who activated the transporter? Yeah, I was given special permission so I could conduct my research. That said, I normally don't go anywhere without Big Sis. You have a sister. Well, we're not actually related. We've just been living here together. If I remember correctly, you wanted to transform Telethia back. Yeah. Oh, hey. My lab's over on the far end of Zen's thoroughfare. You want to come with? We can talk more there, where it's safe. You have your own laboratory. Not as grand as my old one, mind. We still don't understand the Fog King, or the monster that attacked Teelan. Maybe the Telethia are connected to all this. Teelan's research could help us make sense of it all. Yes, indeed. The thing that attacked... Oh, you mean the Fog Beast? Fog Beast? Is that what you've been calling them around here? Fog Beasts always appear around the Fog King, so the name seemed appropriate. Makes sense. Right, I'll be going on ahead. You won't be guiding us on the way. I need to clean up, else there won't be anywhere to stand. All right, see you. Hey, wait! He's gone now. What is it about science boffins? Always doing whatever they please. Huh? You get told. He probably has it coming. Thrice damned fools. They think to second guess the will of the divine. Um, a shop selling arts manuals has opened. I was wondering if I was going to get to upgrade, upgrade my arts past level, like rank six or uh, seven or whatever they are now. Um, exchange arts coins for arts manuals. That's different. Obtain arts coins when defeating unique monsters and fog beasts. Defeating a given number of monsters for the first time will always grant an arts coin. Um... Alright, coins received for unique monsters and fog beasts you defeat before the shop opens should already be in your possession. I was I was gonna ask that. Um, since I have defeated a number of unique monsters already. So if I go into the to the menu, can I uh right, the Pond Spectre report is in there. It doesn't look like I have uh on um, anywhere in here like just a uh Report on a number of of arts coins that I would have. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. I I will look at the collectopedia. Can I turn in anything new on Bionic Shoulder yet? Um. I can complete the fruit category in Alchemoth. All right. Trendy goggles and uh, that is an animal and a strange. All right, halfway there. What about the Pond Spectre report? I did say that I would look at this. Um, okay, cool, we've got little bios on these guys as well. Eight year veteran, two year veteran, seven year veteran, five year, 15 year, you've been around the around the block a few times, nine years for 18 years. You are the uh, senior citizen in here. Um, no, 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 I need to do the, uh, like the, the one of you 
would have me like collecting the lunch things and one of you would have me defeating the things in the ruins that I didn't do yet um because level 77 um don't remember who and who were were doing those anyway there's only two pond specters I have not met met in a in any capacity yet all right what about quiet moments there's a couple of those. I'll probably uh, probably go back and do some of those at some point. Anyway, let's see. The flag is pointing to the sky bridge. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna get to go there next. Let's go to the sky bridge. And is the gate gonna be open? The gate is open. We can cross. And let's see what is this. This is Teelan's laboratory. Okay, so this is the uh, the resident nerd. Teelan is going to be the resident nerd of this game. You do not go there alone. But I really needed that material. Doesn't matter. Why did you disobey me? If something happened to you, we would lose everything. <sighs> Tyrea? Melia? Huh? Wait a second. You know Melia, big sis. Tyrea's your big sis. That explains how you came to the capital just in time to save Teelan's skin. Oh, sorry. Sorry for the trouble. Truly. Although I am glad you were there. Yeah, you really helped me out, Shulk, Miss Melia. And you too, Kino, Nene. Tyrea, I didn't expect to see you here. Helping Teelan with his research. Yes, well... Tyrea, she's changed. Teelan, I'm going outside for a bit to get some air. Got it. I didn't know you all knew Big Sis Tyrea. How'd you meet each other? Well, that's because Tyrea and I share an older brother. Huh? Does that mean you and her are sisters, then? Sisters? No. It's rather more complicated. But sisters, we are not. Hmm. Well, still, that means you know her from way back. What was she like? Hmm? I've only known her here, in this place, so I gotta wonder how she was before. She... she was... She was strong. Both in body, and in her conviction for doing what she thought was right. Wow! Pretty much the same as how she is now, then. When it comes to our research, she's even more committed than I am. So she has not forgotten her mother. Where did you and Tyrea meet? It was when... when she saved me from the Fog King. On a trip to Alchemoth, like today. What? No, no, no. At the time, everyone was still living there. Before the Fog King showed up. Yeah, and then... After we all escaped, I was kind of on my own, so Tyrea brought me here for safety. One moment. Teelan, was your father not still around? My father... My father was killed by the Fog King. Is that so? I'm sorry. Teelan, just like Kino. Brave little pun. I think I'll get some air too. Go ahead. I've still got things to ask Teelan, so I'll stay with him. Good, thank you. It shan't be long. Miss Melly, Kino go too. Kino, please read room.
Tyrea. Of all the people to meet out here, how did you... Pure chance? After everything, I... I wandered aimlessly looking for somewhere to die. Then, at some point, I landed here. So then, you were here all along? That's right. And so, when the capital fell here, I thought Mother had finally granted me my boon. But it was full of Telethia, and survivors cast adrift. Not to mention this Fog King. Yes. He'd be the one to end it. Or so I thought. Until fate had me save Telen, and death ceased to be an option. Your mother, she did not grant you a dying place. She gave you our future by crossing your path with Telen. My helping with Telen's research is a simple matter of give and take. If you really believed that, you would not have treated him half so warmly. I can tell that when you look at Telen, you see family. Even if it was once transactional, his research concerns the future of our race. That fact remains. The future of the High Entia, huh? And what about you? Me? You must have heard. Our brethren in this land are suffering. Yes. You are the Imperial successor. The Crown Princess, war or no war. No. Empress, now. What will you do about the future of our race? I have not planned that far ahead. However, I know enough to realize what I must do right now. I hope to see it. This future you will build for us. And when I do, I hope I'll be able to accept what I now am. Melia, so you are ready to lead us after all. It shall be my privilege to clear the stones from your path. Did you learn anything from Telen? Hmm. A little. He said that for all the details, we ought to talk to Radzum in Grandel. Meetings should be no problem. Telen say he somewhere to guard a Grandel ramparts to let friends through. Before we visit this Radzum, I have something I wish to discuss with you all. What is matter now? The High Entia who live here now have lost all hope for the future. I have a duty. As the Imperial successor, I must safeguard their future. This will sound selfish, I know, but will you stand with me? Of course I will, Malia. King of two, and also Nene. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Right. Off to Grandel we go. Alright, let's see. To recap, uh, Tyre is the designated Charla, um, what's his name? Teelan is the designated Juju, um, the guy who keeps lurking around behind rocks is the designated, like, rock lover or something like that and is there anyone i'm missing i don't know but it is immensely crowded in here and i have to come back here as soon as i find the last palm specters and just see the chaos of the flocking algorithm unfold all right so you are in the middle of getting yelled at the inconvenient location yeah um labs and labs and video games tend to be don't they 
All right. Uh, is there a uh, boy? Maybe I should. Uh, should I play first person Xenoblade while I'm in here because the camera really uh, is quite a bit smoother when I don't have it like bouncing off the walls and bouncing off the nap on or whatever. All right. Hi guys. I wasn't trying to talk to you. All right. Just gonna move on. Um, what exactly is this thing? It looks like a massive ether cylinder, except it's about a hundred times the size of the ones that I'm used to. All right, let's, uh, zoom back out a little bit. And what is this? This is Perora's favorite. All right. That's right. There was one of those on this island, wasn't there? On this, uh, this lab here. Um, what was that? 13 out of 20? Is there any more that I can, like, get to easily now? I know there was, there was one that was, like, right up here. And I don't think I was able to actually reach it. Um, I feel like, and I might have cut out when I tried to do this, but I feel like I should be able to get up on top of this, like, this strip on top of the, um, the Bionis shoulder, um, by the, uh, the Bassy's dorsum or whatever, but... Like, over here, uh, in the in the crosshairs over here on the map where it looks like there's a, a cutaway, I didn't see anything. I don't know if there's going to be, like, a, a rock that comes down out of the wall later on that lets me up there or something like that. Anyway, there's another another uh, quest by Zen's Thoroughfare, uh, it would seem. So, where am I? Uh, where am I looking? Sir! Uh, can I get a look at the ID tag you've got there? Yeah, I knew I recognized it. It's my brother's. There's no mistaking it. Would you mind giving it to me? Um, you can, you can have it. I don't care. I sure don't have any use for it. And if this fell out of the Somnivore Alexis, that means that at long last, my brother found his nemesis and lost. You know, when we were evacuating the capital, it was him that drew the monsters off to buy us enough time to escape. If it wasn't for him, we'd never have made it as far as Grandel. He was our savior. He really was. Afterwards, he must have learned somehow that the Somnivore Alexos could be found at Saltnar Seal Island. Um, trying to remember where that rings a bell from, but I have no idea. I'm certain he went there to remove the beast and secure the path for anyone coming from Alchemoth after us. Uh, hey, by the way, my brother also had this bangle that was a fairly heirloom. You haven't found that too, have you? Alright, so that's going to be another quest island that I need to find. Cinnabar Plateau. I'm, I know I've been there. That was, that was kind of in the middle. Um, but, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go get that. And Melia's is gonna confuse the pleases and the thank yous and all the other words that people typically say when they ask for that sort of thing. Um, Cinnabar Plateau is like over here. Let me, uh, where are you? Lost and found. Alright, that is the one that I want to activate. And what's this? Alright, that is the Pereiro's favorite one. Okay, so that is actually not... At least I don't think that is one of the, uh... The Napom... Pom Spectre side quests. Um... Alright, so that that's actually just... It's not on the Cinnabar Plateau. Did I miss what he said? It's it's by the, uh... The Abbasi's Dorsum... All right, so it should be uh, should be just like over here by this tree. Don't know if that's something that. Fine. Not sure what that thing thought it was gonna do against me, but anyhow, um, let's see. There is a, a unique monster. Shulk, Shulk just keeps sticking his foot in his mouth. What about uh, what about these things? I did not fight this buoyant Rust Stein earlier. I don't think. Or at least I tried to fight it and lost. It's been a little while since then, so what if I, uh, just, like, do this again? I should be able to make quick work of the friendos. And if I, uh, if I knock you over, uh, I'll be able to focus my energy on, on, like, these over here for a bit. It's probably a good thing. Uh, let's, uh... Discharge all my elementals and all right. You didn't stay down for nearly as long as I really would have wanted you to. Um, 
Thank you for the party gauge. I, I have a feeling I'll get to show off another one of those unity moves at the very least um, right now. All right. You are almost done. And that's gonna that's gonna do it for you. And let me, let me kick you over. And let's uh start to discharge all my elementals, and that should that should take out. And I have a uh, those party gauge things ready. Let's see, take you out, and then the first thing that I'm gonna do over on this side is going to be uh, let's try this. Nobody's in bad shape. I think I can I can drop a giant flaming meteor on your head and see if uh. That was too early, I think. I love these guys. Alright, that actually- Wow! That took you down fast. I know, I know I have a bunch of levels on you, and it probably wasn't going to be the most difficult fight ever, but... Wow. Anyway, I can... I can take some items from those chests, and... Am I close enough that I can just, like, run back? I can just, like, run back, right? I won't die if I fall off this cliff, right? It's called a shortcut. Come on, Millie, that was nothing. Flap your wings. Or whatever. Yeah, running back is probably faster than it would have been if I had actually gone into the map and tried to fast travel in this particular case. Sir! I'm gonna turn this in, and I think I'm gonna end this video here. I have found the bangle. Uh, that's it. That's exactly it. It's all misshapen, though. The bangle was decorated so godly to distract enemies, my brother must have thrown it at something as he fought. Thank you for retrieving it for me. I'll be the one to wear it proudly from now on. I can only hope it will remind me to be a protector of the people just like my brother before me. Here's a token of my appreciation. Please take it. And thanks again. Alright, you're gonna finish that quest. That is gonna be 28,000 gold, which is a lot. And you're going to be a uh, completed side quest. With that... I think I'm gonna end things off here. Uh, I'll try to probably grab an end screen overlooking the uh, the lab on the floating island. Uh, next time. Hmm, that's a good question. Next time, I think we're gonna go see if I can track down that like those arts manuals um, thing. And after that, who knows? More story. I'd like to. I'd like to go be able to go through that like that gate that was closed before I uh, try to do more like, exploring, because there's a lot of stuff to explore on the other side of that gate that I'd like to see. So, until then, my name is Dragonite, this has been Xenoblade Chronicles Futures Connected, and also, um, just a massive amount of Nopon. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.